What's up? It's Jared from Vandalistica Vlogs. We're at Brew Cafe and Wine Bar in the city. As you know, it's a hole. I'm joking, it's not. Um, and we're just waiting for the results of the lottery to come through. I don't really play the lottery, um, but I was, uh, I was coming in here for a drink yesterday and bumped into a friend who is addicted to playing the lottery. That's a confession, by the way. He said that. We're actually we're walking uh, we're walking from here to the store to get tickets, and we were talking about what we would do with the money. And he said, "Wouldn't it be nice?" So basically, he's playing the lottery so much, and he's been around the advertising for it so much that he didn't know that he was subconsciously sucking in the uh, the what is it catchphrase of the lottery. Wouldn't it be nice? All right, so I've already said that I'd buy brew and burn it to the ground if I win. I didn't say that, I'm joking. So what would um, what would you do if you won? That sucks, nobody cares about that. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta do something like, you gotta do something like, uh, I don't know, fly to Japan and film a dead body in a forest. That's what all the cool kids do. It's ridiculous. I've only bought one lottery ticket. And I already feel like I'm addicted to it, and I haven't even. I'm just like clicking this refresh button on this thing over and over again. I'm gonna go outside and have a cigarette and come back and look at it in a second because refreshing this website is actually making me a little bit nervous. The lottery has been drawn, and uh, that we're good to go. So. Let's see. It's still not going. It's like 8.51 right now, so we've got to wait even longer. The tension is palpable. I haven't really given thought or given too much thought about what I'm going to do for the weekend. But it's Thursday, so obviously I'm already thinking about it. Uh, yeah. I could go and have a look at the monkeys. Uh, not fine, eh? Uh, but there's a, some like monkey display thing at the museum that I could go check that out. I just realized this is the second video I've done in this car park. <laughs> anyway, this jackpot is. Uh, Ten million dollars, and it's kind of hard to. I don't know. It's kind of hard to really think about that in terms of real world money. Like, I think if I had a thousand dollars, I'd be stoked. If I had a million dollars, I'd be out of my mind. At ten million dollars. That's a level of excess that I don't even know if I'm really comfortable with, to be honest. Because if you think about it, what what comes with that? You know what I mean? Like, you know, sure, there's like stuff, buying stuff. I was joking with um, with the boys in the bar that like. I'll probably just end up buying better quality grey shirts and jeans because that's all I wear. Grey shirt. Jeans. <laughs> Gimbal did not like that action. Would it change you? What do you think? Leave a, you know, leave something in the, in, in the, um, leave a comment in the, in the comment section. <laughs> Where else would you leave it? About what you think you would do with 10 million dollars. I assume, considering my audience, that there'll be a lot of gun purchases involved. <laughs> I would assume with 10 million dollars there'll be a lot of grandfathering happening. Actually really hungry. So, I think what I might do is, if I can help myself, I'll wait until I get home and I will check this ticket again at home and uh, see what the go is. I'm gonna finish this cigarette and jump on a bus. Mm -hmm. Ooh, 
So, at home now, and I just realized that there's a couple of things that I need to do before I can start thinking about how I'm gonna spend my $10 million. The first of which is, oh, Oh no, that's real pee. I'm really peeing. A lot. So it's uh, Thursday, which is our trash day. Well, no, it's put the trash out day. Um, also, I'm starving. I didn't eat in the city because I don't know, I kind of want to be a bit responsible. I've already bought steak, so um, I'm gonna do that. So I got to do trash, I got to do cooking and eating, and I also got to do laundry. Because I need stuff to do. So I'm going to do that quickly. And then I'll come back to the $10 million. My internet's been super duper awesome. Right, Powerball, Powerball, Powerball. Right, this was it here, yeah, Australia's. Official lotteries. I don't know if you saw that, but it said that I've been on here five times already today. Well, that's because I was looking to see if I was a millionaire. It's it's such a weird thing, the lottery, because uh, get out of here, pop up, because. Kind of, it's almost like you know that you're not going to win. Do you know what I mean? It's like you know that the chances of winning this are just ridiculously low. So I keep looking at myself instead of the lens, but anyway. Alright, so let's enter this in, right? We got 0 1. Wait, I'm not even in the deal. Sorry, let's get done here. Alright, so we go 0107 Oops, 9 Wait 9 Uh, and we check the ticket and the ticket says no prize won. sorry this entry wasn't one of the th no three million eight thousand eight hundred and five fifty six thousand two hundred seventy six winning entries do I want to play it again yeah nah not so much so uh, <laughs> yeah. So anyway, that's that I guess. Um, yeah. It's really late actually, it's like, well it's not really late for me, but it's 10 o'clock now and I gotta be at work at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. So, I'm gonna get this laundry done, I'm gonna get this um, food eaten, why is that so hard to think of? Anyway, and uh, yeah, figure out what I'm gonna do for the weekend to bring you lovely people a video. Oh, I actually, while I think of it, um, please watch, uh, I, uh, if you guys know the, uh, the Triple X movie, um, uh, you know, where, like, Vin Diesel jumps off building, so Samuel L. Jackson thinks for some reason he'd be a good, like, spy or something, so, that one was terrible, uh, well, it wasn't terrible, it was just kind of lame, the second one, was less lame because it had Ice Cube but still kind of crap. I watched the third Triple X movie on Netflix last night and it's one of the most appalling movies I've seen ever. Oh, yeah, ever. It's so bad. Um, you gotta see it. You, you kind of have to see it to believe it. Uh, Triple X 
the return of Santa Cage. Yeah. Anyway. Still poor. Still doing it. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. I need to eat some steak. God bless. Look after each other. And I will see you in the next video.